Warning, I spoil everything. So, here's what you missed by not playing Amnesia The Dark Descent. Your name is Daniel, and you live at Mayfair. That's literally all you can recall about who you are when you begin playing this adventure horror game. You find yourself stumbling through a crumbling castle with nothing but your wits and likes to keep you safe from the many dangers therein. Your only guide in the dilapidated mansion is your own diary from which pages have been torn and scattered throughout all the wings of the estate. The first page you find is actually a letter from your former self, with the instruction that you kill the Baron Alexander of Brennenburg in the Inner Sanctum which lies within the deepest depths of the fortress. As you make your way from room to room, you have to manage both your health and sanity. If you do something stupid, you'll take damage, which will heal over time or if you take a swig of laudanum. Too much damage and you die. If you spend too long in the dark, witness something frightening, or encounter a maddening horror, you panic and lose your grip on reality which diminishes your sanity level. This causes your vision to warp and bend, makes you tremble and mumble to yourself, and can eventually cause you to pass out entirely, making you that much more vulnerable to malicious agents. You regain sanity by solving puzzles and making progress in your descent. There are two types of entities that can do you harm, monsters and the shadow. The monsters are twisted, mutilated abominations that will kill you as soon as look at you. They work for the Baron and can show up anywhere at any time. Fear them. You know they're around when you hear them groan, and they won't go away unless you hide somewhere dark. The Shadow, on the other hand, is an uncorporeal force that follows you everywhere you go. An encounter with the Shadow will blow out the lights, cause a loss in sanity, and leave red fleshy residue all over the place. Occasionally, the Shadow will just roar at you, probably because you're easier to motivate when you're stressed out. As you collect pages from Daniel's diary, you can piece together his story. He was a member of an expedition to Algeria put on by one Professor Herbert in 1839. Research led them to an ancient tomb. Inside, Daniel found an orb which unlocked alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Shortly after being dismissed from the excursion and having taken the then-broken orb with him, Daniel learned that all the other members of the team suddenly vanished without a trace. Suffering from nightmares and seeking answers, Daniel called upon Herbert's associate, the Baron Alexander, who invited Daniel to his Prussian manor. He advised Daniel that the cause of Herbert's disappearance is the guardian of the orb, a living nightmare, the Shadow. But he knew how to keep it at bay, by draining the blood of tortured men. Of course, this was a lie, as the Baron is actually in exile from another dimension and wanted Daniel's orb and the terror blood as fuel for a portal back to his home. He convinced Daniel to take part in his dark rituals for about a week, but Daniel's mind snapped when he found himself murdering a young woman from a nearby farm. This led him to swear revenge on the Baron, write a letter to himself, and forget his guilt by drinking an amnesia potion they used on the torture victims that kept them from getting used to feeling fear. When you finally catch up to the Baron in the Inner Sanctum, the portal is almost complete. And here you have a choice. A. Let the Baron use it and succumb to the Shadow's wrath like a chump, or 2. Wreck the portal device and watch the Shadow devour the Baron, letting you walk out a free man. Or you can throw this guy's talking severed head through there and get summoned to another plane of existence. That's also an option. And that's what you missed by not playing Amnesia The Dark Descent.